What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Venusaur and Torkoal Drought team alongside with Solar Power Charizard and Rough Skin Garchomp. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it really does go a long way. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and it really does blow my mind. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Seriously, join the family, join the crew, and help me reach that 10k goal. But starting off with this team, we got Raichu in that top left corner. This team looks amazing overall. Like, I saw it, I was like, I gotta use it. It looks like it's gonna dominate. It looks a little meta, but then it has a few Pokemon that are, like, not too meta. So, I feel like it's gonna be a good use for this uh, video. But, like I said, top left corner, Raichu with that Lightning Rod, Assault Vest as its item, Volt Tackle, Volt Switch, E-Web, and Fake Out. I'm loving this moveset. We can hit hard with it, we can pivot out, and we can slow down and flinch. Right next to him is going to be that Garchomp Dragon and Ground type with that Rough Skin ability. So, physical attackers hit us. They're gonna take a little bit of damage we also have that lumberry to actually take off our status conditions we got the stomping tantrum rock slide sword dance set up and protect no dragon moves though on this guy so we're gonna see how that rocks out with us middle left is gonna be nine tails great support mine over here with the snow warning we can get weather control we can start hail we have the light clay for our roar bell make that last longer we have icy wind for speed control mist to protect pokemon from getting stat drops and moon blast for our stab hitting move Right next to him is going to be another Pokemon that controls weather. It's going to be our Drought Torkoal. Citrus Berry as its item gives it a little bit more HP when it falls below half. Burning Jealousy, Body Press, Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep, and Protect as its final move. Bottom left corner is going to be Venusaur. Do I have to say anything more? Sun, Venusaur, you guys already know each other. This, team, this Pokemon rocks out in the sun. Chlorophyll doubles its speed. Focus Sash for that so we don't get one tap. Sleep Powder, Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, Earth Power. Normal moveset for Venusaur that has been dominating the meta for a while now. Final Pokemon is going to be Charizard. One of my favorite Pokemon to use on Rank Ladder. I feel like I always do good with him. Solar Power Ability so he does more damage in the Drought. Life Orb gives him that damage boost. Fire and Flying type with Heat Wave, Air Slash, Solar Beam, and Protect as its moveset. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder. Try to get some wins with this Sun team and Rough Skin Garchomp. I don't know why, but just looking at the team that we have, it just looks broken. Just in picture form, it looks so OP and so dominant. You got the Raichu, the Garchomp, Alolan, Ninetales, Torkoal, and then the Venusaur and Charizard combo. Come on. This team's going to be fun. Hopefully, you can pick up a win in battle number one. We're going up against a another Venusaur drought team, but with Arctozolt, Grimstarl, Celestia, and Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz can set the Tailwind. He has Ninetales in there for the drought. I don't see him bringing the Ninetales. If he does, that kind of benefits us. Because we like the drought. I'm going to bring my Torkoal just in case. And I think I'm going to go Torkoal, Venusaur, Charizard, and then I need one other Pokemon. One other man's that is full of Pokies. I could go Garchomp. Garchomp could be decent. Especially later. We do have the rock and ground moves, which I really like. But I am going to bring Garchomp. That's going to be play. Uh, do I lead these two? He, he could have Fake Out on him, rocking out. Uh, I'm going to go these two guys. And then we are just going to bring Garchomp. Yeah, I'm going to lead my Torkoal and Venusaur combo. Because he has no weather control besides Drought. And if he wants to change my weather to another Drought, that is totally fine. <laughs> but I, I don't... I'm trying to think. Like, say if I have two turns left in my Drought that my Torkoal sent. If he brings in a uh, Ninetales, will that boost it back up to five? Or would it keep it normal? I totally forget. I guess we're going to find out maybe. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, last video we played a Gengar team. We went one and two. Didn't play too bad. Have some awesome battles. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, go check it out. And also, if you guys want the Poke Pace for this team, it will be down in the description below. Definitely go look at it. Check it out. I know you guys like your Poke Paces, so I've been getting them for you guys every chance I can get. But who's he gonna lead? He goes with the Grim Snarl and the Mandibuzz. Oh, yo, Shiny Mandibuzz looking tough. Shiny Mandibuzz looking real cool. Okay. So Grim Snarl could set up a screen. Drought is out and about. It's out and about. It's going to be doing dirty. And I could put Pokemon to sleep. I really want to. But I think I might just go for Burning Jealousy. Hmm. I could go with a Burning Jealousy. I could just drop a big old Sludge Bomb. D-Max oozing for that special uh, attack boost. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Get that Dynamax. Start boosting that special attack for me and my Torkoal. I wish this Torkoal had Eruption on him, though. I love Eruption on Torkoal. Like, it just rocks out so good. It's just great all around. But I think this guy's confused. I think he's sitting here like, yo, what do I do? <laughs> That's how I play every time Torkoal and Venusaur come out. 
Like, if I'm not playing Torkoal and Venusaur and somebody else has it, usually I'm sitting there like, okay, yo, what do I do from here? <laughs> like, it's, it's just a tough matchup. It really is. It's just great all around. Just dominant. But we're going to die on Max Boy right here. I wonder what he is going to do. I really do wonder what he's going to do. So we're looking for the special attack boost. I can probably get this off. He might set up a screen. He could fake out and tailwind. Let's see what his play is. He is going to fake out. Ooh, want the Venusaur. <laughs> no flinch comes out from him because of the Gigantamax. And Ooze is going to bring this thing down to 1 HP. Is that thing Sash? Or just get lucky. Okay, it's Sash. But we have Torkoal coming in with Burning Jealousy, which should be able to get the easy KO. If it doesn't miss. It doesn't miss. And are you going for Tailwind? Yep, there's a lovely little Tailwind. And we have a special defense or a special attack boost on this Torkoal. He might be able to pick up a double. And he pick up a double. Get it, little turtle guy. Get it, little turtle guy. Nope, it did like no damage to that. That what's it called? That man to buzz. <laughs> I thought it was gonna do a lot more. That's why I like have an eruption on it. Like if I had eruption on this, it's later. It's later, man to buzz. Let's get him out my face, man to buzz. But I definitely want to get a bind lash rolling. So hopefully he drops a Pokemon that won't really take that hit too well, because then I can get the pester damage going at the end of every single turn, and it's gonna be big stab damage instead of plus one on the uh, special attack board. And we also have my boy Charizard. And Garchomp in the back end, which I like. Let's see who he goes into. I could see Celestial come in here. We might bring him in his very own Venusaur. We'll see. But I'm, I'm really thinking he brought Celestial and maybe Venusaur. Right? Yep, there's Venusaur. There's the boy. Venusaur is out and about. Um, Let me see this thing's... Uh... Let me see this thing's uh, stats. I might yawn up onto that... Uh... Yeah, this thing is just bolt. It's just bolt. So, what do I think he's gonna go for? Might go for a special attack, so he might go for a sleep powder. So I am going to yawn here, and I might just guard. Which I want to vine lash. I could just ooze. I'm gonna ooze onto this thing. Actually, I should have ooze on the man to buzz, or I should have guard it. Okay, no, there's that. That's actually nice. He's going to Dynamax that. We're going to hit this thing with the Yawn. His Venusaur is going to be able to outspeed us. I was going to guard, but I think we're fine here. I really think we're fine. And it's not a G-Max. What is going on? Who doesn't use G-Max Venusaur? G-Max Venusaur is so much better. I guess he wants the terrain. I guess he just wants the terrain. Quake is coming out here. Don't hit my Torx, man. Leave my Torx alone. Torx will eat this one up. Say it it's tasty. My man. My man, dude. Torkoal with the easy eats. If I can get off this yawn, then I can guard next turn to protect up. Special defense boost is given, given out to them. And I could have went with a burning jealousy. If I went with a burning jealousy, that would have been a double burn. Would have been a free double burn. There goes our ooze. Doing a little bit more damage. But more importantly, should be able to get off this yawn. Another special attack boost. And I think going for the Vine Lash next turn is to play. He goes for a foul play. That's easy. Dawn comes out. Yeet. Yeah, and Drowsy, baby. Um, let's go for a Burn Jealousy and then just drop a uh, Vine Lash. I definitely want to get off this Vine Lash. So I'm going to go after Amanda Buzz just to get the four turns pester. Like, that damage adds up over time. So every time I use Venusaur or Charizard, I, I love to either get off a Max Wildfire or a, uh, a Vine Lash at any time in my three turns. Because it's just so valuable. It really is. All around is good. I see him maybe taking out my Torkoal here. But we have a physical attack and Garchomp in the back. Which I dig. Actually, it might be special. No, it's physical. We Rocket Sword Sands on him, so. There's that. That's going to end soon. There goes another Quake. That should take out my, uh, my Torkoal, no problem. Which I'm cool with, because I'm going to bring in Charizard. His Venusaur is going to go to sleep, unless it's Lum Buried. Unless it's buried full of Lums. Or do I even bring out Charizard? I think I might bring out my, uh... I'm bringing out my Garchomp here. I think Garchomp might be play. Let's see, let's see what happens here. A little bit of damage, because he's plus two. And it's not very effective. But like I said, what I'm really here for is Divines. That play's going to come out here again. He's going to do a little bit more damage on me. But there's some bigger damage coming out here. Venusaur is going to be able to go, go to sleep. And I'm liking where we're sitting. I am really liking where we're sitting. Venusaur is slump. Uh, how many turns? I wish I could check how many turns is left in there. Uh, we should have one or two. Do I bring out you? Or do I just bring out you? Hmm.
What does Jeans do here? I don't want Garchomp. I'm gonna set up a Sword Stance with Garchomp. Is that gonna be play? Set up Sword Stance with Gar? Let's set up Sword Stance with Garchomp, outspeed that Mana Buzz, and put him to sleep as well. I'm digging that turn. I am digging that turn. Let's do it. Let's run it. Run it, because I know Venus was definitely gonna be asleep this next turn. And once we put this Mana Buzz to sleep, it should be good, unless we miss. I'm surprised he's been foul playing so much. I guess he's not rocking an air move. Because Tailwind will end in the next turn. And then that goes, there goes his Dynamax as well. The Venusaur slumped. Took his Night Cold today. My Venusaur's turn. Sleep Powder. Oh, it has Overcoat. Rough. But I forgot about his ability. Roost is coming out here. Uh, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with this thing roosting. I'm totally fine with that thing ro roosting. So his turns of Dynamax are over, right? And he used to? Yeah, he double he double quake. There's a sword stance. We setting up. We setting up for that late game. Fine Lash coming out here, chipping away on these Pokemon. Give him the chip skis. Give him the chip skis. Tailwind Peter's out. And now I can drop a nice big rock slide, which should be able to take out Manda Buzz fairly easily. Go in here, and then Venusaur can just drop a nice big old sludge bomb. Right? Nice big old sludge bomb on him. Try to do as much damage as we can. Those round comes out, connects. How much damage are we really gonna do? Not bad, considering we're plus two. He's asleep. Is he gonna go for a foul play on Mana Buzz? Or he might tailwind again. Rockside connects, that should be double KO, right? Nope, oh, dude, Mana Buzz is a tank. Mana Buzz is an absolute tank. We get rid of Venusaur though, and he's gonna tailwind up. Oh, he flinches, yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Run it. Run it, baby. Yo, this team looking real good. Will that take him out? It's gonna bring him close. Close to it. We got another Rockside coming up here. Oh, yes, sir. Run this battle. Run this battle. I got my Garchomp set up, and we still have our Charizard in the back. Jigasol is going to pop out here, which Electric can't hit me. I'm cool with that. Could go for a Stomping Tantrum. Stomping Tantrum is stabbed, so I am going to go here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to go here. It's going to be stabbed, take you out, and then I think I just drop a nice quick old uh, Sludge Bomb over onto you. I don't see any of them taking us out. Actually, Mana Buzz might outspeed my Venusaur now, but Garchomp's just fastest. That should, that should be easy KOs. Get him out of here. Get him out of my game. One tap him up with Stop and Tantrum. Just down to the Mana Buzz. Solid battle. This guy played actually really well, slowing the pace of this uh, battle down. But we ended up just overpowering, setting up a Sword Dance after we got the Venusaur to sleep, and just sweeping the battle from there. I'm telling you guys, if you guys rent this team and learn it, you can get really high ranks with Master Ball tier. This team is all around phenomenal. It dominates the meta. It basically has the meta Pokemon in it. And it's just all around a god tier team. But we're hopping into our second battle here. Going up against a Sand Rush Excadrill team. He also has Digger Speed with huge power as his ability. Runa Rigas for Trick Room. Regilecki for Speed Control and just doing Regilecki things. And Tapu Fini as his final Pokemon. Okay, I kind of want weather here. I really do want the weather to take control of it. We'll go Ninetales as a lead. Actually, no, we're not going to go Ninetales as a lead. I'm going to bring Torkoal not as a lead. I'm going to bring Raichu and maybe Venusaur. Because I, I really just want that weather. I just want that all-around weather. Actually, why would I bring Raichu? That would be dumb. That would be real dumb considering he could just, uh... He, he's just electric and everyone else is basically ground on this team. Um, let's go Char. I could go Garchomp. Let's go Garchomp. Garchomp and... Oh, I could go Garchomp and Raichu potentially try to set up. That's not bad. Go Garchomp and Venusaur. Link Torkoal, and I think we're just going to see him squad. This team just seems so good. Like these four. It's looking good. Hopefully, in the third and final battle, we will get into Raichu and the Lola Nine Tails. Actually, I'll probably just force it, even if we lose. Just try to show them off, because you guys already know the deal with the Charizard and Venusaur. You guys know how they get after it. But I'm really liking the Garchomp on, on the team. We're glad we really got to show them off in that first battle. Set up that Sword Stance and rock out from there. The Garchomp is a really good Pokemon. But it goes Runa Rigas and Digger Speed. Okay. Runa Rigas and Digger Speed. I could swap the Garchomp if I really want to. But I might just Sword Stance. I just dance the swords. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna try to set up. Boy. Get him buzzing and throw a big old. Ooh, I could just go straight beef storming. I could go straight beef storming if I really want to. But I think I'm just gonna try to throw a sleep powder onto you and get going with that. You could go for a trick room. That could be his play. Sword Dance comes out here. 
Archon is fast on the field, so that's really good to know. Does Venusaur outspeed that bigger speed? That can be dandy candy. Sleep Powder comes out here. He does. Put him to sleep. Put him to sleep. Setting up the chomps. And what is Runarigus going to go for? Trick Room? What is Runarigus going to go for? He's going to Trick Room up. All right, so the room is full of tricks. It is rocking out from here. I think I have to Dynamax my boy. Gar. And just get some Quakes rolling here. I'm going to go after Runarigus, and I'm just going to go... Ooh. What does Jeans want to do here? Actually, let's go here. Let's switch this up. Let's Dynamax. Let's go for a Quake over on the U, because I know you're a little lighter. And I can go for a nice big Leaf Storm over on the U. Oh, he's Dynamaxing. Is he Dynamaxing Rune Regus? Did I doubled up into it? Is he Dynamaxing Rune Regus? Yes, he is. Okay. I'm with it, yo. i never seen something like this. That's cool. Maybe I should have just threw a little sleep powder on him, but we're going for the sleep storm, seeing how much damage we can actually do on this thing. It'd be really bulky, but I have to Dynamax my card jump. But you're not plus two on a Swords Dance with no health pick and not going to Dynamax him. I got it. And I'm Lumberry, too, which is nice. If he's trying any tricks on me, I'm just Lumberry up. I'm going to just bury it up. Run it, Garchomp. Run it. Uh, hopefully this thing is special attacking, which I would think it is. Because we are going to get this, this special uh, defense boost. He's going to quake into who, my Venusaur, which should be easy to eat with Venusaur. Yep, they get the special defense boost, which is definitely going to help out the uh, the Runarigus. Definitely going to help him out. Hopefully he's not policy. If he's, if he's policy, that's a little tough. Leaf Storm comes out here. Getting after him. Doing a decent amount of damage. And there's my stat drops. Special attack. Harsher drops. Oh, no. He is policy, bruh. Bro, what you mean? He's weakness policy. Here goes my Quake. Get that special defense boost. How much damage are we going to do on the Sigurd Free? Maybe kill it. Get out of my game. All right. We get rid of it. We say, yo, Diggersby, out of here. Oh no, dude. Actually, Torkoal's gonna be pretty good here. In this Trick Room? Hopefully, he just takes out Venusaur. He'll probably do it next turn with whatever Pokemon he's gonna throw in here. And it's gonna be Gigla. So, Gigla is definitely slow. And he's gonna take Weather Control. Which is good, because then I can bring out my Torkoal and just have the Weather Control. So, Gigla is going to take out my Venusaur, obviously. And I'm just going to Quake again over onto you. If I can pick up KO, and I'm gonna go for a Sleep Powder on. If I can connect it, but I just don't see it happening. I'm actually terrified right now. Runa Rigus with that weakness policy. I hit it, I was like, oh no, I know it's weakness policy. <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. Rock Side's gonna pop through here. Oh, I was gonna say, can Venusaur survive on like one? Maybe get off a of sleep powder? That'd be big. But he doesn't. Giggle shows that he is orbed, and here goes the Phantasm. Hopefully, this thing's special attacking because we do have the boost. Definitely special attack, and we're able to eat up. Um, This should come out here and pick up the KO. Onto the Giglith. Right, stab. Plus two. Giglith, get out my face, right? Right? Giglith, get out my face. Alright, we're gonna bring out Torkoal here. Just because Torkoal's slow and Trick Room is rolling, we're gonna try to waste out the turns and have Charizard in the back end. Because right now it's a 2v3, but he has speed control. I really don't like it. Let's bring out the Torx. Torkoal, get out here. Get out here, buddy. Gotta get some work on. And he's gonna bring out Extra. Extra is Sand Rush. Uh, so I can protect. I can guard. But I don't think guard is going to be the play. If I guard and he goes into Torkoal, then that's just rough. So I am going to Quake over on the Runerigus. And I think I'm just going to Burning Jealousy. I think that's just going to be play for jeans. I think that's just going to be play for jeans. Because if I guard and he's like, okay, Torkoal's going to get off an eruption or something like that, then that happens. So, good thing I doubled down here. That's my play by me. He's going to protect you, and I'm just going to get off the of burn jealousy. See, this is why I wish I had eruption. I can do some massive damage here. Here's Runerigus, and that should give him a burn, right? Nope, it had to be that turn. Phantasm comes out here, and he's going to go straight for the Garchomp. All right, so Garchomp drops out. He gets a defense drop on that. And how many turns left in Trick Room? How many turns left in Trick Room? That's the thing. Charizard comes out here. He outspeeds everybody. He outspeeds him. Well, not in Trick Room. Which, which is tough news. So I really have to see how many turns is actually left in this Trick Room. If it's two, then I don't like it. It might be two. But if it's one, then I can double protect here and uh, 
We're taking speed away. Let's see. Let's see the info. It's one. Okay, so yeah. Double protect coming in hot. We are going to double protect. I could have yawned, actually. Yawn could have been the play. I probably should have yawned with the Torkoal. I probably should have just yawned with the Torkoal. And then, uh... And then protected the Charizard. So I could have got, gotten off a free yawn here. It would have been huge. Rockside's going to pop. And we're going to box. So Charizard should be faster than that extra, no problem. So Solar Power is going to take a little bit of my HP away. And now we have no more Trick Room. So that was a big play by me. I'm just going to drop a Heat Wave. And I think I'd burn Jealousy just in case. Just in case. The what's called is Sash. Just in case the uh, extra is Sash. Extra is going to end up protecting. And hopefully we can do enough damage to take out this uh, Runarigas. I don't know. He is plus. What is he? Plus two? Oh no. He's plus one on special defense. He avoided it. Rough way to lose battle number two. Real rough way to lose battle number two. Come on, man. Come on. He avoids my heat wave. Bro, that was going to be some big damage. That was potentially picking up the KO. Let's see. Burn Jealousy comes out here. Dude, heat wave would have picked up the KO. And we missed. And we missed our move. Oh, no. Dude, that, that is ridiculous. Guess we'll go. I guess we'll go into a body press. We're going to end up losing this one. We missed our heat wave. That would have been an easy win for your boy. But, you know, this game happens sometimes. We're sitting at 1-1. One one. We're going to hop into our third and final battle and look for that winning record. That last battle was the definition of what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? We miss our heat wave? Like, we played that one so well. We had that one in the bag, and we lost to a miss attack. Like, in my head, I count them as wins because I played really well, and if RNG wasn't a thing, I would have won the battle. But on record, it's a loss. It's all good. It's all good. You guys got to see the content. You guys got to see a solid battle, and... It should have been a winning battle. You guys already know that. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Looking for that winning record on paper. So guys, Urshfu, Vanellix, Dusclops, Rhyperior, Delmize, and Neuburn. So heavy Trick Room team. Definitely want to bring in my Torkoal. I definitely want to get a Lola Ninetales buzzing up in here. I'm going to lead the Ninetales. I want to show it off. I want to show off the Lola Ninetales. Get you popping. We're going to go Ninetales. Try to get that Aurora Bell off for everybody. Um... Really want Torkoal, but I can't lead Torkoal. That, that's my problem. Cannot lead Torkoal. Um, I could go you. Maybe put put somebody to sleep. Definitely want the Torx. And then Charizard. Gotta bring Sun, right? Gotta, gotta bring Sun. Right, Charizard. Looking real good. Yeah, run it, run it, baby, run it. Raichu's not gonna see any loving, but you guys already know what Raichu does. I just want to get off uh, at least nine tails. I really want to get nine tails rocking out of here. Considering uh, you guys like Raichu, what kind of music is on? Did I change music on accident? Hey, 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 <laughs> it's all funky, like techno and like dreary. Usually I have like one of the Legends ones on and we're rocking out and jamming out. But like I said, Raichu, he just flinches up. He does some damage all around. And he's going to lead the Urshifu and Neuburn. So cool little combo here. We're getting off the nine things. We're getting after it. Dun, 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 Yo, we got this dreary music coming out here. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. And I, I am just gonna drop an Aurora Veil. Aurora Veil and... Do I, do I sleep? Do I throw some powders that's full sleep? But oh, you are. You are water. You are the water. I'm gonna Tailwind. We, we see that coming. We see that coming all day. And in that case, I'm gonna put you to sleep. I'm gonna just throw you to sleep. He's probably gonna go for like a close combat onto me, but again, we should be able to outspeed him. Well, Ninth Hill should be fastest on the field, right? I think so. Unless Noivern's gonna outspeed and set up a tailwind. Then I'm like, eh. Then I'm sitting here, I'm like, ooh. Because I really want this Roar Bell up. I really do. He does. Okay, now it's looking a little scary. I don't like it one bit. Miss. Miss your close combat. I'm just gonna go for certain strikes, which I think we should be able to eat. Eat that up. All day, Nine Tails. Nine Tails, that's easy to eat. Yes, sir, Nine Tails, that's easy eat. That is easy eats. Light work, Nine Tails. Unless he gets like a double crit, which is not even possible. Easy eats, Nine Tails. Roar Bell. Popping. Roar Bell. Popping, baby. Sleep Powder. Connect. It connects. Let's go. That is the worst when you when you roll out with like a Will-O-Wisp or a Sleep Powder and it misses. It just ruins your whole game. You're like, what you mean? It's hard to recover from it. 
The Buffett's coming out here. We're taking off Sashes. Sashes out my face. Get him gone. Um, okay. They drop a nice little icy one. Or, or, boy can pop that. And then your boy can pop that. But I do not want to pop that because I do not want to drop my special attack. I think a Moonblast could take you out easily. So I'm just going to Sludge Bomb into you and just get off as much damage as I possibly can. And hopefully Ninetales or Noivern goes after my Ninetales because I don't mind it going out here. We have the Roar Veil set up and he is going to withdraw you. That's totally fine. What are you going to go into? Vinny maybe? You don't even have top of Vinny. <laughs> I was just thinking. Hurricane comes out. Oh. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Venusaur gets dropped. It's dropped hard there. I'm waiting for him to pop a trick room. That's why I have my Torkoal, but I guess we're just going to go into Charizard and Dynamax him. Moonblast comes through and does a decent amount of damage, but not enough to pick up a KO. KO's coming out here. And hmm, I can't believe that, that connected. Um, I kind of still want the hail. I'm going to bring out the Charizard. And I might just protect my boy. I might just protect. He's got to be my Dynamax mod. Let's just protect him. You know what? Let's uh, let's sign him next year. I'll go for the icy wind, and I am going to go for uh, wildfire. All right, we should be fine here. I could have swapped my uh, my nine tails into that that Torkoal, considering he could go for an Aurora Bell. That's my problem. That's a problem. Big old problem. If I Dynamax here, hit this, uh, hit this Vanellux, then we take him out. Even if he Sash, the Wildfire's going to take him out, and then Wildfire will take out the uh, Noivern as well. He's going to withdraw the Noivern and go into who? He's going to go back into Urshfu. No, Rhyperior's going to get out of here. So we know his team. He has nobody set up a trick room. And I don't know why he swapped like that. Did he think I was going for something against him? Well, I don't mind that swap at all. I really don't mind that swap at all. I'm gonna get this out. And then after this turn, I think I'm going to bring in the Torque only. But well, nine tells us. At least he's dropping a veil. He's just gonna blizzard. He's gonna straight up blizzard, which is totally fine. Nine tells goes down. That's a fine turn by me. I'm gonna bring up my drought. I'm gonna start running it. I'm gonna start running this. If every Pokemon left, pretty close to it. But you gotta remember, Urshfu is asleep. You don't have you. You're gone. Get out of here. Because I could drop an easy. Overgrowth on that thing. I think it's Sash, but sorry. Sorry, Vanellix. Sorry, Vanellix. Had to do it to you. Dang, dude. A lot of just chip damage going around here. Buffets, Life Orb, Wildfires, Solar Powers. <laughs> Everything's coming out here. He can drop a rock on me. That's the scary part. So I think I'm going to bring out Torkoal and I'm going to go for that Overgrowth. Because that, that's probably going to be his Dynamax Pokemon. Right? It's got to be. Urshfu's asleep. Uh, Noivern will go down to a wildfire. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I could yawn onto him. I could protect and yawn. Could be a play. Could be the play. Alright. We're re revealing items and we're changing up weather. Weather is ours. This is a good battle. This is a solid battle. A solid battle. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I want to go for the burning jealousy or just body press? It could be policy. I might yawn him. Just in case he doesn't go down here, I think yawn is going to be play, and we're just going to drop it over north. We have a special attack. We're, well, our special attack is boosted due to solar power. So maybe, just maybe, we could pick up a KO here. Maybe. We'll see. Because I think he's Dynamax, right? He's got a Dynamax, this Pokemon. Dude, this music. This music's just zoning in. Making me, making me feel frothy, man. I don't know why. It's making me zoned in. Gonna withdraw the Noivern, bring back. I, I don't get the swaps, man. Like I don't get the swaps here, but sure, you can go for your swaps. Rockside's gonna pop out here. That took out my Charizard. And how are you out speeding? Is Tailwind really making that Rhyperior that fast? No way. No way he's making you that fast. That's going to be GG's. I got to see the speeds, man. You don't have Trick Room up. How fast is this Rhyperior? Bro, I was not expecting that thing, even in a Tailwind, to outspeed my Charizard. Let me see this Zard. 
Let me see the Zard. Come here, Zard. 167! That's fast! What is going on? What is going on? I gotta check his, his Pokemon team after this, but that's gonna be GG's. This guy's got this one pretty much wrapped up. He's gonna outspeed me. I'm slow. I'm a turtle. I'm gonna withdraw the right period. Now he's just toying with me. I don't get what, what his swaps were all about. I didn't really get it. He's still asleep. We're gonna take out Noivern here. Get it, Torkoal. Clutch up, baby. Clutch up, Torx. Bang. Get him out of here. Get him gone. We take you out. He said, get out my face. And the wildfire chipping. It's chipping. Dude, why is that right here fa that fast? The tail when I, I I get it's doubled. It's over 80 some speed. For a Rhyperior on a Trick Room team. Dude just outplaying me. So he yawned to get the swap. Or uh, he swapped so he wouldn't go to sleep. And I gotta get after him. He still has Gigantamax or Dynamax which he's gonna send right now. Unless he doesn't. Unless he's like, yo, I can beat Jeans without a Dynamax. You got lucky. Oh, yo, you're still three turns sleep. What? He's gonna EQ. Eat this up. Say, yo, that's tasty snack. There's no way he's eating it, though. He does. <gasps> Hold up. Hold up. Turkle. Do him dirty. Do him dirty, Turkle. Do it. Do it to him. How many turns left in Wildfire? Do we have one more turn? Do we have one more turn in Wildfire? We don't. <laughs> we don't. Dang it, man. <laughs> I was going to say, yo, if we have one more turn left in Wildfire, that's GG's. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Aurora Bell has been helping us soak up shots all day, but dude, he KOs Earth when we almost win this battle. Could you imagine if we won this one? Could you imagine if we won because of that? That would have been amazing. Yeah, this one comes down the wire. Dude, we needed one more wildfire turn or hell or something. <laughs> All right. Or if he didn't swap. All right. Pokey gods. Make sure he goes for a rock slide. Nope, he goes for EQ. EQ always lands. That's GG's. That is GG's, yo. Good game to this guy. Somehow his Rhyperior outspeeds, but I give him props for making a Rhyperior like that. Outspeeds, dumps my Charizard in one shot, and we actually almost win that battle. Not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen, this team right here is one of the best teams I used in a while on the channel. I know we went 1-2 and two on paper, but we should have won that second battle. And if I really wanted to win that third and final battle, I wouldn't have brought Ninetales. I would have led Torkoal and Venusaur combo and kind of just got rocking out from there and dominated that third battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.